My name is Sarah Barnes, and I'm a senior at the University of Lynchburg. A little over a month ago, we got an email saying that we were not allowed to return to campus after spring break. And then we got another email saying we weren't coming back for the rest of the year. This has uprooted a lot of students' lives, and I am investigating how it has affected a variety of students at the University of Lynchburg. Today with me, I have Chad Fluharty. Chad, could you introduce yourself? I'm Chad Fluharty. I'm a senior. I live in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, and like Sarah, I am a marketing major as well. Um, can you tell me how your life has changed since moving fr away from Lynchburg back home? Um, so I've taken my sister's old room, my older sister's old room, which has now been turned into a sewing room for my mom, and I've now turned it into a study for myself. So I've added some things like a putting green to get myself ready in between classes and de-stress, but I'm um, in here most of the day, um, just going from class to class, meeting from Zoom and Google Hangouts, and trying to get some homework done, because I don't like to do homework in my room. Awesome, Chad. Thank you for meeting me. Stay safe, stay inside, and keep working hard in all your classes. Thanks. Same to you. Thanks, Sarah. Now for another perspective of a student from the University of Lynchburg, I'm here with Abigail. Abigail, could you introduce yourself? Hey, my name is Abigail. I'm a senior nursing student at the University of Lynchburg, and I am currently in my hometown of Richmond, Virginia, where we have been for the past three weeks. <laughs> so, Abigail, how has your classes changed since we've transitioned to being online at University of Lynchburg? It's definitely been a big change. I don't have any classes that meet on Zoom, so it's more just trying to meet my deadlines, um, turning in assignments online. And the other big change has been that we've moved our um, capstone internship clinicals to virtual and that has definitely been a learning experience it's um, basically like trying to take care of a Tamagotchi pet on the internet it's it's very different I'd much rather be hands-on with my patients because that's how you really learn and get that experience but um, we're, we're working with what we have and we're going with the flow <laughs> as you can see many students at the University of Lynchburg's lives have been altered due to the coronavirus this pandemic may have separated us by states or even countries, but now with the technology we have, we can stay connected online.